Okay, so this is my TLR 22. It's basically done. My receiver and controller came today. And my body reamer, so I didn't put my wings on. So that was really nice. Um, body reamer I got was this one. It's not that good of quality, if I have to say that. It's not that good of quality. If you look at it right, it's not that good of quality. That's not that good of quality. The scissors aren't either. They're, I think they're like ten dollars on Amazon. Don't don't buy them unless you want problems. The brand is Mayatech. Don't buy them unless you are on a budget like I am. This is a budget build for me. My low C servo that don't work for this car. Oh, it'll work, but oh yeah, this is my Fly Sky controller I got today. The one thing I hate about it, it takes eight batteries. That weighs a lot. I'll turn the ESC on. Turn the controller on. Now turn the servo. I don't know if you can see that. Push I have the one problem I have to fix. I'm pulling the throttle to make it go forward. It goes backwards, and if I go regular backwards it goes forward and my problem is the wires are started onto the motor so I can't just swap the wires over which sucks my tires J constant dirt webs let me get some for the front and there I'm turning the servo. Oh, I was hopefully going to be racing it in the next upcoming month, I guess. This is my Fly Sky. It has a Screen on it, which is really fancy to me, it is at least. I'm no, I'm used to the normal Spectrum. Well, no, not Spectrum. Um, the regular Traxxas ones, ones I'm normally used. But yeah, my wings got on. The body reamer just destroyed them. I got that. Brand is Maytech. It is not that good unless you're on a budget like I am. My budget for this build is three hundred dollars, three four hundred dollars. Hopefully, that's all I'm really wanting to spend. But if you look at it. It really, it's a lot worse on this side right here. Right there, you see it? Right there, most of that should be black. Like this. That should be black mostly right at the tip. No, it's silver. That's all metal right there. It should be having a groove, but it don't. Oh yeah, I... 
customized my parts box today. I made them special. Not really special, but they're custom, I guess. For the body reamer and scissors I got. So I can slide in there. Somewhat slide in there. Yeah, there's my thread lock and my grease. My other stuff. You can see right here. My battery is fit in there. Pretty dang well. Pretty well. Or just me doing it. Got some Velcro, some double sided tape. Oh, yeah. I got one problem with it. If you look at right here, my receiver. Just, it's too wide. So I'm gonna have to put it on its side like that. Otherwise, I can't really use it, which is lame. Yeah. This week, I think I am going to. One of our local hobby shops here in Illinois. The name of the hobby shop is Thunder Road Hobbies. They also have race tracks, like an oval track and an off-road track for RC cars. Which is where I'm hopefully going to race this buggy. This is my TLR 22 5.0 SR. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day. Bye.